Fight me, you cowards. Order of the yard. Stop right there. Ah. Ah. No. Hmm. G'day Ziggy D here today with something a little bit different for you guys. So, Ziggy, this is Skyrim though. Skyrim is heaps old. Like, why are you playing this game for? It's been around for ages. And yes, I haven't really touched Skyrim myself for many, many months. However, thanks to Amy recently getting really into modding, uh, I've, uh, I've uh, had some new life breathed into the game for me and I've discovered a new way of playing. So with these games, the main thing that I always really enjoyed was re-rolling new characters and, uh, you know, exploring ru ruins and, you know, fighting people and trying to get good gear and stuff like that. The, this, this that sort of exciting survival experience. However, that tends to go away after you play the campaign for a fair bit. And I never actually finished the Skyrim campaign because I got kind of too fatigued with that whole thing. Uh, but thanks to a couple of mods that I've installed here, uh, I, I'm able to get that experience back. So I'm going to jump straight into it before I explain any more. So we're going to name myself uh, uh, Zigretta. There we go. That, that can be a female version of my name. Now, this brings us into the first mod. Well, actually, the first mod you saw was a new race, the Ningheim race, which is one that Amy installed because she thought the uh, faces looked very pretty, but I've uh, since discovered that the race is actually pretty cool because they have some interesting powers, including teleportation once they get to a high enough level. So, if we can survive that far, we can unlock those powers. Now, this next mod I'm using that you're seeing here, uh, where, you know, I'm in, I'm in a town, I'm not going through the initial starting thing, which I hate, uh, we get to pick a kit, or we can go with random kit, or even no kit. And it's going to plonk us somewhere random in the world and say, here you go, you've got this stuff, do your best to survive. So I'm going to go with a combat kit. Uh, I've got a, um, a, a melee combat mod installed, so I'm going to go for something that can take advantage of that. So I might go for... Hmm, let's go for a scout. A light sort of... Uh, one mix, Mixing ranged bows and lighter weapons and armor. Let's choose that one there. And now we'll be... Uh, our soul's power begins manifesting itself, and that's to do with the Ningheim race mod that we've got installed. And uh, as we load in, I'll just explain the next mod that I have. There's three really crucial mods for this. The first one is that alternate start. It's called random alternate start, and it lets you pick a kit or choose a random kit and be plonked down somewhere randomly in the world. Uh, the next one is Duel, a mod called Duel, which is a combat overhaul, uh, mostly for melee combat, and it changes the way blocking, attacking, uh, stuns and all that good jazz works and it just makes the combat feel much better, feel much more realistic. It's kind of hard to explain and something you have to really play with yourself or, or see in action to understand how it works. And it works really good when you, a guy with a sword and a shield, comes up with an, against another guy with a sword and a shield and you have this cool little duel. It makes the enemies much smarter in combat too, so that, um, that makes combat much more exciting. Whoa, and then the, whoa okay. I don't know where you're going, but stay out of that mine. It isn't safe. Okay, uh, the mine isn't safe. Why? We so, as I said, we respawn some way random. The whole place is crawling with Drogo. We're not mining up any ore with those undead around. Yeah, so okay, an undead mine. The mine well, thank you for the info. So, let's uh, familiarize ourselves with our kit and what we've got here. So, we start off, looks like we've just got some basic clothing, very little armor, just some worn leather boots. I'm going to equip this shield, and I've got a sword and a bow, so we'll favorite those as well. And uh, I'll, I'll, I'll start off with the sword. Now, we don't have much in the way of armor, so we're going to have to be very careful. Though, with the third mod, which I haven't explained yet, uh, that is not such a big issue. Now, it's actually quite late, it seems, or maybe it's just very overcast. To clear the crypts out. We'll see I, don't know. Oh, I don't know if There's I should head into the mine. It could be pretty place. dangerous, guys. Like, I know you plunked me in front of this mine and all, but then again, it could be a good way for us to gear ourselves up in the start. And uh, undead, hmm? I might be able to handle, unless they're like undead spellcasters. We'll see. We'll go in. So the third mod I've installed is, uh, I believe it's called Damage Multiplier. And it does exactly what it says on the label. Basically, depending on your difficulty setting, it either gives you one times, two times, three times, four times, or five times damage, uh, both dealt and received in combat. So that means if some guy hits you with a two-handed sword, even when you're just playing on Adept, which is two times, which is what I'm playing on, uh, you're probably going to get one shot. And then if you hit someone else with a, you know, a sword in the face, then they're probably going to die too. So I like the added realism of that. Now, there, we do have a ton of other mods installed. Those are the three main mods that I've went over, and the Ningheim race mod, which I'm using. Uh, we've been... Oh, shit! I did not see that guy there. That was... Alright, we've... <laughs> 
As you can see, I, I just got brutalized. I'm actually lucky I survived that. He hit me with an axe, which is, you know, not good. <laughs> uh, so you saw, uh, I, sp I spun around there, pulled out my weapon, and was able to block. And he was sort of stunned because I, I timed the block quite well, it seemed. So I'm going to pick up his Nordish axe. And I'm actually going to equip that, I think, because that will probably be better than mine. Yeah, that's, uh, that's going to be better, more powerful. We'll, we'll equip that. And it should help with uh, just finishing guys off. So we're, I'm going to sort these out. Now we've got our shield and our axe. And I really like axes too. So we've got a heap of other mods installed. Amy went real crazy with the mods. We've got probably something like 100 mods installed. I'll list down the main ones uh, in the description below if you guys check out. But as I said, the three main ones for the, the game style that I'm enjoying playing here with Skyrim, the one that's really breathed new life into me is the random ultimate start, uh, dual combat mod, and damage multiplier. Oh! See, so as you can see, he was, he was thrown back then by my well-timed block. So, combat becomes much more strategic, much more exciting. You really have to, you know, you can't just sit there and hold your shield up, turtle, and then just, you know, you can't just do your shield barge to, you know, basically knock them to the ground. You have to really uh, time these things well. Shield barges can be very powerful, but they only give you a, a, a short moment to get an attack in. Which I'll, I'll show you if I have a good, good time to do that. So, there's another guy in here. He's got an axe too. Need to get a little bit closer. Oh, he's staggered. Oh, yes, axed. <laughs> so good. All right, so this guy. Oh, this guy's got some bows and arrows. That'll be good for us. And we'll grab a little bit of gold too in case we happen to be able to do any trading. Though there's a good chance that I'll die well before then. So as I said, oh, I don't know if I even mentioned, but uh, my whole style with this that I'm playing is uh. I'll do this random alternate start and I'll play until I die and then I will restart, restart, so make a new character. So each character has their own little life and I just see how far I can take them. I really enjoy that hardcore game style and I really enjoyed the, you know, re-rolling new characters. So that, this makes that whole experience much more exciting. So maybe my whole point of making this video uh, is, you know, maybe you guys will enjoy just seeing it, but also maybe if you've got Skyrim installed and you haven't played it for a while, um, then, you know, maybe you might jump on and do a bit of extra modding yourself and uh, enjoy that. So, ooh, Moonstone. So, Moonstone's quite rare and quite valuable, so I'm probably going to um, mine out the Moonstone that's in here. It looks like there was two two veins of it there, so we'll go ahead and equip this pickaxe and hack at the Moonstone. Oh, combat, combat mining. Efficient, efficient combat mining. There we go. So I've got some, got some moonstone ore, maybe we have to trade that or, or smith it into some bars at some point. I think I might have saw, saw a, um, an iron smithing majigger outside somewhere. So was that the only undead that he needed us to deal with? Let's uh, pull our axe back out and just make sure. Looks doesn't look like there's anywhere else to go in here, so... Unless... Unless... No, okay, well that, seem, that seems like we've done... Oh, no, there was, I believe there's another direction to go. So that's where we came from, but I think we can head down here as well. So maybe we'll, we'll clear out the mine for this guy, and maybe we'll be re rewarded handsomely. Or perhaps, perhaps, we'll die in the process. So, ooh, wow, I don't think I want to be jumping down there. I will most likely die. But we need to uh, take a look around. Hmm, that's like the uh, the jump of no return. So I'm guessing we can survive it if we fall onto this little log here. Alright, let's do that carefully. We really need to uh, scrounge up some armor as well. Unfortunately, we're not going to find any of these drogers. Drones. Oh, there's two. Shit. Get the jump on one. Oh, I completely whiffed. No, oh, no, I'm stuck. This is bad. Alright, staggered. Get it. Not, not a good, not a good position to be in, as you can see. Some clutch blocking got me out. Got me out of the situation. <laughs> oh, we're gonna get this guy's uh, shield when we kill him. Maybe a sword too. So, I don't know if you guys have noticed yet, it depends on how familiar you are with Skyrim's combat, but the enemies are much smarter. I don't think these guys are particularly fast, but uh, they tend to block and dodge a lot more than they usually do. So, we've got a better shield, I'm going to go ahead and equip that. This should be a bit bit more protective, yeah, tons more protective. Let's go ahead and drop this shield here. So now we've got a, we've got a nice iron shield to help us with the uh, the protectioning. Oh, it's a launcher. It's very hard to block arrows with a shield. <laughs> But fucking oh no, we got, we got destroyed. <laughs> the guy ran up behind us. I didn't see that other corner. 
Uh, so as so so I respawned, but that's that's the end of that character. That character is now dead. So I have a lot of fun with that now. As as you can see, jumping straight into runes, even you know if they're fairly easy undead generally, that you can still get smashed if you're not prepared. So you can play this like hardcore mode super carefully. And I was actually thinking about potentially adding in some extra mods like. Uh, hunger and thirst mod, so you have to keep up your food supplies and all that jazz. Maybe even like a cold and wet sort of mod, so you know environmental effects have an effect on your character and things like that. But uh, this is so far, this has been fun. I've been really enjoying, uh, you know, creating these new characters and respawning them out. So I'm actually going to do a new one, another one here for you guys. And if this video is too long, I'll split it up into two. But uh... I shall have my revenge, God scum. Come back here. You're gonna get it. Oh, of this. Please, do something. Oh. <laughs> Apparently not. <laughs>